Okay, now we're gonna do chapter two of how to improve blood flow, also called the tale of two toes in a hot tub by me. Um, and by the way, I'm roughly going by the book, but if anything seems relevant to add in, I'll add it in. Anything really doesn't fit with the talk, I'll take it out. So it's not exactly the book, but it's, it's the gist of the book um, with a lot of commentary too. Okay, so now Chumpy, Chumpy Dumas, Chumpy Dumbass, he is going to Dr. Bunyan's house. And of course you get Bunyan. Bunyan means a hallux valgus where the great toe is bent inward distally. Okay, so Chumpy says to the podiatrist, why is my toe so messed up? Podiatrist, Dr. Bunyan, other than drinking fructose, drinking alcohol, smoking tobacco, and eating junk food with lots of salt, oils, and estrogenics, I have no idea why your foot has poor blood flow. Chumpy, I think it's genetic. Everyone in my family is fat. Bunyan, maybe it's because you all eat the same food. Chumpy, I eat well, lots of protein, lots of milk, eggs, chicken, and fish. Bunyan, those are all high-fat foods. Chumpy, no, skim milk has no fat. Bunyan, skim milk avoids the fat, but it has lots of animal protein. Chumpy, so what? Protein makes me strong and healthy. Well, actually protein, animal protein raises cholesterol because it puts the body in a hypermetabolic anabolic building phase that raises cholesterol. Anyways, Bunyan says, mirror, mirror on the wall, who is aging best of all? Chumpy, aren't you funny, Mr. Doctor? If, I, if my foot wasn't so sore, I'd kick your ass. Chumpy, by the way, did you know your little fairy tale, Snow White, was written by a woman? Bunyan, I thought it was written by Brothers Grimm. Chumpy, the Brothers Grimm just collected the story from a woman. Any sophisticated person could tell it's written by a woman because she's perfect, Snow White, and the dwarves are the seven habits of annoying husbands. I hope your medical skills are better than your social skills. Bunyan, let's focus on the foot. Chumpy, what about stress? Bunyan, Stress is like being chased by a tiger in the dark. The stress will enlarge the adrenal glands and it'll shrink the immune system. Chronic high stress causes adrenal hypertrophy and hippocampal atrophy. It's bad for the memory center of the brain. Chumpy, what's the significance of hippocampal atrophy? Bunyan, it makes you stupid. Chumpy, how does, how does stress affect my foot? Bunyan, chronic stress will raise blood pressure because cortisol has mineralocorticoid um, activity to cause the kidneys to reabsorb sodium to raise blood volume, raising blood pressure. In addition, the catecholamines increase the heart rate that cause vasoconstriction of the non-active skeletal muscle and most of the rest of the body. All these things raise blood pressure. Increased blood pressure causes more atherosclerosis, which then blocks blood flow to the toes of the foot increasing the likelihood the infection in the toes, the gangrene, is going to progress. So Bunyan continues, chronic stress can cause insomnia, which leads to cravings for sweets and junk food. Chronic stress increases cortisol, which will increase blood glucose and predispose to diabetes. Yeah, so cortisol increases insulin resistance because the whole purpose of cortisol primarily is to raise blood glucose. Catecholamines also raise blood glucose because they're designed for an acute physical stress where you need to crank up your blood glucose for a major muscle effort to run, for example, fight or flight. Chumpy, what should I do to lower my stress level? Bunyan, good social support can lower your stress level. Studying your problem helps you to understand it so things become more predictable. That'll lower your stress level. Optimizing your habits to increase blood flow gives you a feeling of control, which will also reduce stress. Exercise distracts you and energizes you, that helps. Exercise sort of pulls you into the present, um, into the task-based network part of your mind, especially along the convexities. Um, and that uh, stops you from obsessing in the default mode network of the brain about past and future. Um, so the brain's like a seesaw in the sense that it alternates between being in the default mode network where you're thinking about the past and the future relationships, especially to the task-based network where you're involved in a task busy in the present. And that's why being busy with something takes your mind off of negatives, for example. It's good for you psychologically. We all like to get busy once we, get, we can stop ourselves from thinking about something we don't want to think about. Chumpy. John Bunyan wrote a book called The Pilgrim's Progress. Maybe you could write a book called Podiatrist Progress. No, nah, that title's too long. How about the pod's progress? Nah, that title sounds too sci-fi. Bunyan, 
How about A Tale of Two Toes? Chumpy. That's like Jonathan Swift's book, A Tale of a Tub. Bunyan, maybe. Chumpy. But then you would need to compare one toe to another, one patient to another, one treatment to another. Okay, so that's the end of the chapter, and basically it's an obvious segue into comparison with the other patient, and we know that the other guy, Jazz, Jonathan Athlete Swiftfoot, has athlete's foot. And now we're going to systematically go through all the stuff these, these patients go through, and you'll see that these are really common health problems, and most patients manage their health poorly and they end up with complications, So, but it's easy to avoid the problems. So, Okay, that's it for Chapter 2.